In this video, I will show you how to track document downloads with GA4. Then I will mention several reasons why you might need a custom setup. And finally, I will show you that custom setup. Here I am on a demo page where I have two links and one of them will open or download a PDF file and the other one will download the Word document file. Also on this website, I have installed Google Analytics and in Google Analytics, there is a built-in file download tracking feature. Basically, it will check if a link contains a particular file extension and then if it does, GA4 will track that event. To check if you have enabled this feature in your GA4 property, you can go to admin, then go to data streams, select your website data stream, and here scroll down, keep looking for enhanced measurement, so it should be enabled, and then click here to check if file downloads section is enabled. If yes, then Google Analytics 4 will try to track clicks that open or download files. So let's take a look if this is actually working. For example, I will click this link, then I will go to the debug view. So it's data display debug view. And here I see the file download. I can click it and I see some parameters, for example, file name. I also see the link text, link URL. So if you also see this, then it means file download tracking will work. So if this is enough, you don't have to do anything else. However, there are some limitations when it comes to built-in file download tracking. And if one of those limitations that I will show you actually are a problem to you, then you will need to implement a custom solution, for example, with Google Tag Manager. And later in this video, I will show you how to do that as well. So first of all, let's talk about file formats that are supported by enhanced measurement. These are the file extensions that enhanced measurement is looking for. So if the link that is clicked contains one of these file extensions, then Google Analytics 4 will track that event as file download event. But if you have some other files on your website and you want to track them, but those files are not mentioned in this list, then you will need to go with a custom solution. So this was the first limitation. Another thing that might be a problem for you is that if you want to send a custom dimension just with a file download event, you won't be able to do that if you're using enhanced measurement. When you're using enhanced measurement, you can set custom dimensions on your main tracking codes level. So for example, you can send the page category, but then the same page category would be applied to all enhanced measurement events. For example, outbound click and others. But if you want to send with a file download event, let's say the file type, is it an ebook or a white paper or maybe a checklist or something like that? So if you want to send a custom dimension just with a file download event, you won't be able to do that if you use enhanced measurement. And then again, you will need to consider implementing a custom solution. And the last limitation is the limit of 100 characters. The length of most dimensions in Google Analytics 4 is 100 characters. For example, link URL cannot be longer than 100 characters or the file name dimension cannot be longer than that. If it is, then it will be cut off. For example, here, what I have in the link URL, and as you can see, the value of the link URL was cut off here because that is the 100th symbol in this value right here. So even though the URL of the ebook was longer than 100 characters, it was cut off and then I just have this value. So if your URLs are very long, then you might want to implement a more custom solution that will send a shorter value, for example, just the last part of the URL to Google Analytics. Well, if you are more experienced with Google Analytics, you might say, I don't care about link URL because I can use the file name dimension because it shows the click path in this case. It takes away the domain and then just shows everything after that. Well, this is okay, but maybe your click path is also very long. Maybe you have slash something, then slash something else. And then eventually the actual file name gets cut off. And I mean the actual file name at the end of the URL. So if this is a problem that you're facing or you might face, then again, you might need to implement a custom solution where you're sending just the very last part of the click path where it contains the file name, dot, and then file extension, for example, PDF. So if any of these reasons that I mentioned resonate with your situation, then let me show you how to implement a custom file download tracking with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. Here I am in my Google Tag Manager container, and I have already installed 
a basic Google Analytics 4 configuration tag, which sends data to my test property. If you have no idea what this is, then I will post a link to a tutorial below this video where you will learn how to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. And this Google Tag Manager container is already installed on my demo website right here. So first thing that you should do is you should disable the file download tracking in enhanced measurement because we don't want that to duplicate with our GTM custom solution. So in Google Analytics, go to admin, data streams, click your website data stream, then go to configure enhanced measurement and then disable file downloads and click save. Then let's go to Google Tag Manager. And the first thing that we should do is that we have to enable click tracking feature because right now we don't have any active triggers here. So click new in the triggers section, then trigger configuration, just links. And for now, let's leave this trigger as it is. If you already have at least one link click trigger in your Google Tag Manager container, you don't have to do this particular step. All right, so let's name this trigger then go to variables and here you should have a bunch of click variables enabled if you don't have them then click configure and then enable all click related variables right here once you do that click preview and then you will be asked to enter the url of the website where you want to test this i have already done that before so now my preview mode has connected let's go to the website and click for example this pdf link I will close the tab and here I already see the link click event. And if I expand it, I will see what kind of information did Google Tag Manager catch. But this looks a bit technical. In fact, we can switch to variables while I still have the link click selected right here. And I see click element, click ID. In my case, it's empty, but maybe in your case, it might contain some value because websites and their links might be coded in different ways. I have the click text, I have the click URL. So I have some information about the link click. And in the value of click URL, I can see PDF right here. This means that the link would download a PDF file. So we could tell Google Tag Manager that if a link contains, let's say PDF, doc, maybe MP3 or other file extensions, then we want to track that and we will later send this as an event to Google Analytics 4. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, then Triggers, and let's edit our existing All Link Clicks trigger. If you did not create this trigger, then click New and create a new trigger, which is just links. So here I am in the trigger, and instead of All Link Clicks, I will select Some Link Clicks. And we are going to look for a bunch of different file extensions. That's why contains will not work because contains will always look just for one particular value. If you enter, let's say PDF and then let's say docx, this will not work because the URL would have to contain both of these values at the same time. But if we want to look for this or that or something else, we have to switch to regular expressions or matches regex. And here we can enter multiple conditions, for example, PDF, and then a pipe, which is or in regular expressions, doc or doc x or you know, something like that. But to save you some time, below this video, I have posted a link to my blog post about how to track PDF downloads. And in fact, in this article, I also mentioned other file types. So in this article, you will see this regular expression right here. So this is the same expression that enhanced measurement is using. We could copy this and if needed, we can modify it to our needs. So I will copy it, then I will go to Google Tag Manager and paste it. However, keep in mind that there might be some unwanted spaces here. So let's take a look here. Maybe we will find something because if there are any spaces, we should remove them. So I see the space before seven, I remove that. And yeah, everything else looks good. So if you have some additional file type that you want to add, you would need to go to the end or to the beginning of the regular expression and then add another pipe and then type some file extension, maybe ODT or something like that, which is I think open office format. Just make sure that you don't leave another pipe at the end because then your regular expression will work unexpectedly. So make sure that there are no pipes at the end or at the very beginning 
of the regular expression. Now let's rename this trigger. For example, link click files or something like that and click save. Now let's go to tags and we are going to create a GE for event tag, which will send an event to Google Analytics for it. Click new tag configuration, then Google Analytics, GA4 event, and here you have to enter your measurement ID so you can find it in the settings of your web stream. So this is my measurement ID. I copy it and then I paste it right here. Then here I can enter the name file download. That's the same event name that is used by enhanced measurement. And then we can send some additional parameters. For example, what was the text of the link or what was the URL of the link or something like that. So let's add several empty fields right here. And below this video, we will find a link to enhanced measurement events. This is the documentation. One of the events here is file download. And here we have several parameters that we can include. We don't have to include them, but at least some of them will be useful. So let's say that I will send link classes. So I copy it here, paste it here, then link ID even though in my case, link ID would be empty, but maybe other links on the page, they will have some link. Then I copy link text, then link URL. And here I can also use the file name, for example. The order of the parameters here does not matter. And then here I can insert the variables. So link classes could be using the click classes variable because in the preview mode, click classes even though in this case it is empty, but again, maybe other links on the website will have some click classes. Then link ID could you be using the click ID. Link text could use the click text variable. Link URL could use the click URL. And for the file name, we are going to create a custom variable because none of the built-in variables show you the last part of the URL because this would be the name of the file. So again, let's go to my initial PDF download blog post. You will find the link to it below the video. And then here you will find the code, a little JavaScript snippet that we can use. So copy this code, then go to Google Tag Manager and in the file name right here in its value, let's click the button and we will click the plus to create a new variable. Then select custom JavaScript and paste the code. This variable will basically take the value of the click URL and then will take the last part of the URL. So let's save this variable as CGS, which is custom JavaScript, and then file name, click save. Then in the triggering, click anywhere and select the link click trigger. Let's name the tag and click save. Let's click preview. And the preview mode has connected. Here I am on a page and I will click, let's say PDF. I can also click the docx. Now I can go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager, click the link click and I see that my tag has fired. There is a bug right now in Google Tag Manager preview mode. So it might show you unknown tag type, but this is not a problem. In fact, after a couple of refreshes, probably it will show the correct data. But if I go to variables, while I still have the link click selected, I will see the file name. And also there is a URL parameter because my URL contains some additional fields right here. Technically, I could probably improve the code to remove this, but for the general use case, even the current code should be enough. So now instead of sending the long URL value, I'm just sending the last part of the URL and therefore, I have much lower chances of hitting the limit of 100 characters in the dimension value. Let's also test this in the debug view. So let's go to Google Analytics, then in the admin, go to debug view. And here I have the file download events. I can click the first one and I see the file name, for example. This is the file name. I also see the link text, link URL, and other automatically tracked parameters. And that's how you can track document downloads with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.